is up YouTube welcome back to my channel my name is John and I'm a junior network engineer based in Copenhagen Denmark I work with Falk and I'm back with another video today it's another day in the live vlog I know I know boring but yeah uh, this week we're working on uh, we're working on uh, the switch replacement at the HQ uh, most of our switches are end of life so we're working on replacing those uh, we've done two floors so far, so today is day three. Um, the maintenance window starts roughly at like 5 till 10 p.m. It takes like eight hours to, to do the replacement with my colleague. So it's been two intense days so far. Um, but today is day three, um, a bit of an easier day because uh, only one of the racks is, is uh, what would I say, has high port density. So it's like five switches in one of the racks. So basically we're tearing down and rebuilding from scratch with new patch cables, new switches, new everything. Um, yeah, so this is day three. I'm headed to the office now on my trusty bike. And I will see you at the office. I will take you through a bit of the preparation work and then the beginning of the change window. I will not be able to film too much during the activity because it will make things take even longer we've been doing eight hours maintenance windows so far day one day two so um yeah come along enjoy the weather is surprisingly not too bad i mean it's october so we're expecting the cold to come in now but it's actually like 13 degrees between the bit of rain but it just has this nice cool uh effect i can even just ride with my uh with two layers it's perfect Every now and then I flash back to how things are in Nigeria compared to this absolute state of peace and blissfulness in the mornings here. No noise. It's almost like I'm playing a, a video game. You know, <laughs> it's so quiet here. I absolutely love it. What I also love is how air is free for your bicycles. If you own a bike shop, I, I, I think it might be mandated that you're supposed to have an air pump outside. Anyways, we've arrived at the office and you can see a bit of the junk from yesterday. Uh, the cables we've removed and the end of life switches we've decomped. Today, I need to configure two small baby switches for a particular department, aka IT. It's an IT department. They need an unusual amount of ports in their office. So the best way is to just give them two small baby switches in a daisy chain uh, manner. So this is the first rack we'll be working on today. I need to go around and verify one last time everything that needs to be kept. Starting with APs, I don't trust labels, so I use CDP neighbor and then trace from the switch port itself up to the patch panel instead of the patch panel down to the switch port. The change window is almost here and I just walk around last minute confirming the outlets I'm supposed to patch and uh, making them more contiguous. Most people in the building use Wi-Fi but the wired connections are reserved mostly for the people taking calls and using telephony services because it's critical. I love this trust system, you just take a drink and pay, nobody is there, it's like an open vending machine. So I'm done with collecting all the latest facts and I got to enjoy this sunset before we began the activity at five o'clock, the change window was approaching. Um, there's a lot of construction ongoing. With all that confirmed, we can start ripping out the old network. While my colleague was doing that, I went to grab everything we needed and including these switches that I was staging for this floor. Now the switches are ready. Fun fact about stacking, it makes the switches logically one switch. Instead of five switches, it logically sees itself as one and you should connect them in an X manner. Now I move the SFPs from old core to the new core and take all the new switches upstairs and we begin patching. The fun part, not so fun because our fingertips became so sore. Big shout out to my colleague Nakash. I wasn't aware that he had this uh, skill in his back pocket for cable management. He did an amazing job. Uh, all in all, a super resourceful guy. And I've spent probably 100, 200 plus hours on the road with him. So this was all in all a fun project with an amazing guy. With the switches stacked and racked, <laughs> racked and stacked, it's time to install the 10 gig SFPs and make that link back to the new core. 
we use multi-mode fiber in the build building which is perfect given the distance <laughs> this is the final job <clears throat> and with that done and all APs up I could walk around checking that all the meeting room devices are online and that was success and that calls for a mini golf break slash celebration and this time success I walk around testing some of the workstations and uh, with that section of the floor done, it was time for a break, for a dinner break, I would say. After dinner, I proceeded to the other section while my colleague was uh, finishing up with the other rack uh, with cleanup. Well, the report suggests, the initial audit we did a year ago suggests 520 and 585, but when I walked around, I accounting for all these workstations i couldn't find any 520 but now i have a map and i can use that to figure out where it is so that's what i'm trying to do now to verify now we've moved on to the second rack on this floor and again a big task here um you saw me earlier mapping out every workstation outlet that we needed to do but here the main problem was dust so much dust but yeah once again our fingertips were sore from struggling to remove these old cables that were stuck in the patch panel i think it's the design of the patch panel because even some of our new cables were proving difficult to remove when we uh, did some mispatching but yeah all the cables out it's time to vacuum as i explained earlier there's so much so much dust here Remember I was talking a bit about stacking earlier and how the switches are considered to be one switch, logically speaking. Um, that simplifies things a lot, especially for spanning tree. And when we create ether channels, um, it's one switch. So the two 10 gig SFPs will be bundled into one um, ether channel, which again simplifies things uh, from an architecture perspective. Again, we had to do lots and lots of cleaning because there was an insane amount of dust. Partly because the rack is the rack room is shared with printers, and I guess a lot of the dust comes from paper, um, among other sources. We are done with this rack officially, and it's time for me to go check. All services are up. All the meeting rooms were good, and this is the big transformation. We just finished, the time is 2.28, thank you all for watching this video, subscribe to help me buy a new Garmin, as you can see mine is busted, and uh, yeah, I hope this video was interesting and helpful to some of you. This is Denmark at half past 2am and it's time for me to go home. Safety first. And then people will come tomorrow and won't even notice this amazing change that has happened. So yeah. Again, thank you guys for watching this video and see you on the next one. Hi, hi.